All right, guys, quick update on my lack enclosure right here. I did the uh, spool holder finally. We got five spools mounted on there. I did like a remake on the Prusa mount that goes on top of the Ikea enclosure. Now their mount um, actually is the same exact width of the top of, of this enclosure right here. So if I would have done that and put it on the inside, it would have bowed out the glass over here and it would have left it looking funny. So what I did was I shortened the total length overall and uh, that was able to get me to fit inside both sides. I'll let you guys get a side look from over here as well. Um, so doing that was able to get me to fit it nicely inside the glass without it bowing. The other thing I did as well was I put the notches, you'll see them in there, one on each side, one's top it over the other side, but they all sit at the same length, but it does leave one spool sitting in front of the other essentially. So it's like that all the way across. I'm using just some standard um, straight I wouldn't even know what you'd call them. It's just a spool holder. I just made it out of, um, I think it's about 13 millimeter diameter. So I just stuck all those in there as a nice, quick and easy fix. It's been working really good. I have no complaints for it. I've actually ran the spool, um, just run the wire down to the machine down here and not had any problems with it. So I've ran it off of this side, this one, this one, this one, this one. I haven't had any problems with it feeding off of there. So it's really nice to not have to worry about, oh, do I have to put that spool in the center? Is that gonna be a problem? So it hasn't been any problem whatsoever. Um, the other thing I did was, this was my first version. I have another version that um, I already finished designing and everything. What I did was I made it longer right here because what I was finding out is some of the spools have different inner diameter holes and that was just kind of affecting how easily they would go into the notches and uh, whether they were going to hit the top or not. So I made it about an inch longer. I do have this up on Thingiverse and I'll attach the... Um, the link in the description down below so you guys can download it. There's been a few people that have already downloaded the latest version of it and they haven't had any problems with it. So glad to hear that. If you guys have uh, any questions, go ahead and feel free to let me know. And the next video we'll be doing is um, ambient temperature inside of our lac enclosure. So what I did was I went ahead and um, found a nice, really cheap um, thermostat controller. And this is a 24 volt one. I actually printed, designed and printed out this little holder for it as well. So it'll mount inside the rail right there. It can slide forward or backwards. It's uh, wired into the actual Prusa controller right there. The only thing that comes off of here is this quick connect plug. So this quick connect plug is where I'm gonna connect in my um, the wire that's gonna go up to the fan, which is gonna go up to the top of the enclosure. So I'm still able to easily just disconnect it. If I, if I need to disconnect this printer and take it out of the enclosure, I'll just have to disconnect this and my one power wire in the back. So for me, it's all about the simplicity and being able to manipulate this thing in and out of here. And uh, just while I have you guys on it, I'll show you where I have the thermostat sensor sitting right there. Just sitting on there with a couple filament holders on there. Actually worked out really well. So that'll be the next video. If you guys have any questions, you can start formulating those now. All right. Hope this uh, helped you guys out and let me know how it works for you. Thanks. Bye.